Marvin Bartlett. Our top story tonight, the man responsible for the Paducah school shootings told a parole board he still hears voices 25 years later. Michael Carneal made his case for release one day after the state parole board heard from some of his victims. Danielle Miskell joins us now with more on why Carneal believes he's no longer a threat to society. Danielle. Yes, Carneal is the first school shooter eligible for parole in Kentucky. He also could very well become the first school shooter granted parole in the U.S. Now this morning, Carneal was asked about his mental health, his behaviors for the last 25 years in prison, and most importantly, his plans if he were to be released. Do you think that it would be in the best interest of the Commonwealth if the parole board uh, gave you an opportunity of parole today. I think I can do a lot of good out there. I, I, I think I can benefit the Commonwealth. I think I can benefit people as a whole. Paducah school shooter Michael Carneal has had 25 years to prepare for this moment. But the parole board said he failed to submit paperwork articulating his plans if he were to be released. You're telling us what your, what your parents are going to do. But we need to know, most importantly, uh, what you will do to avoid from making the same decision that you made that brought you into this institution. That I would need to maintain some sort of mental health care, that would be very beneficial. During the hearing, Carnell was asked why he committed the crimes he did when he was just 14 years old, when he was suffering from undiagnosed paranoid schizophrenia. I was hearing things. Uh, were voices telling you to do something on December the 1st, 1997? Yes, ma'am. And what did they tell you to do? Uh, pick up the, the gun out of the backpack and hold it in front of me and shoot. It was, it's not, there's no justification or excuse for what I did. I'm offering an explanation. He says he still hears voices and sees violent imagery in his head, but has learned how to control it. I haven't acted on him in, year, you know, decades. Carnell says he's completed programs in prison, got his GED, even took college classes in anger management training. However, Missy Jenkins-Smith, who was paralyzed from the school shooting, shared that she was not convinced he wouldn't commit a crime once he was out. It, even if he tried to improve himself, that doesn't make the victims feel any more comfortable. Still hearing voices is very concerning, and I, as a victim, would feel uncomfortable and definitely don't want anyone else to have to feel like a victim like I did. The two-member panel from the parole board did not reach an agreement today, so they are set to deliberate again this coming Monday on whether to release Carneal or have him serve out his life sentence. If the board rules against his release, it can also decide how long Carneal will have to wait before his next opportunity for parole. I'm Danielle Miskell, Marvin Amani, back to you.